With the release of Halo Reach coming to MCC in the not so distant future, it got me thinking about what made it, for me at least, a very, very special Halo game. And while obviously the time playing custom games with my mates, like Speed Halo and Crash Up Derby was like incredible and I do have some very fond memories of that. That experience can be somewhat replicated uh, throughout Halos that have came since, uh, such as Halo 4 and Halo 5, both had Forge, that made some minor imp improvements here and there, but also at the same time ultimately lacked the like Forge World sandbox that Reach gave us. However, for me, like a lot of Halo fans, something yet to be replicated quite as well in any title has to be the Halo Reach armor customization options. In this video, I will compare and contrast how different, ha how different Halo Reach and Halo 5 did armor customization and how it could be implemented into MCC when Halo Reach is integrated, which is in the not so distant future, and how also it can be implemented into future Halos, such as Halo Infinite. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are on the Halo Reach armor customization page, a very familiar site for plenty of you players, I'm sure. And we're just gonna quickly run through um, how Halo Reach did it. So basically, as you can see on the screen, we've got the helmet and the different variations. We've got the left shoulder, right shoulder, chest, wrist, utility, visor color, knee guards, armor effect, and firefight voice. Now, for this video, I would ignore firefight voice um, strictly because it's not actually technically an armor customization. Technically, it's more of a, uh, as it says there, a voice and is not a visual, but rather a, an audible uh, representation. So, in terms of helmets with Halo Reach, you have a significant number. In fact, you've got more Halo Reach helmets than you do in Halo 4, I believe. Especially a, an awful lot more than Halo 3 and Halo 2, and of course, Halo 1. You just have the standard one. And what I liked about Halo Reach is, uh, uh, and what I liked about Halo Reach's armor customization is the way you got the variants. Obviously, you got the Mark V B variants here, and you got the different UA and the UA hull uh, adapters to it. Each one of these helmets has their own customization options. The recon helmet, as my preferred option, also comes with the hull, which is required, as it says there, for sensitive operations. Uh, you've got plenty of arm, armor uh, helmets here, many of which, as you can see, do have that customization, but I am yet to have purchased, such as the Mjolnir um, base Mark V, uh, Mark VI rather, sorry, and that obviously comes with its own uh, customization. You've got the Emil base Eva C uh, for, for the 1200 credits. Anyway. So you've got the helmets there, and while Halo 5 had an awful lot more helmets than Halo Reach, there is something that didn't I didn't quite like, and we'll get onto that later. And then with Halo Reach, as I said previously, you've got the, the left shoulder and the right shoulder, which are basically identical shoulder pieces, but you can buy different ones at each side. I, on this account, have opted for the sniper bullets on both sides, strictly because, in my personal opinion, I think they look badass, and I don't know, I just prefer them. To the other options it kind of fits my kind of spartans um look about him chest i've gone for the assault sapper uh, but i would also quite like the robotic arm and maybe even with the sapper itself that is a very very nice armor piece and costs just just the 250,000 credits as you can see in the bottom right hand corner i do have over a million uh saving up for that inclement weather of course the the ultimate of all halo spartans and then you've got the wrist attachment here so you've got from the default to the, the one I use, so which is the tactical tack pad. And you've got also another assault sapper as well. Utility on the back of the thigh, or the side of the thigh I should say, is, is pretty standard. There aren't an awful lot of diverse options here in comparison to the uh, the chest and the shoulders and the helmets. Visor colour, you've only got an option of five I believe. Yeah, the, the default silver, blue, black and gold, which is significantly di uh, less than the Halo 4 and Halo 5 options. However, in my humble opinion, I do feel like maybe you only need, just these ones are kind of good standard ones as it is. I've opted for the black here, but I have also purchased the gold, which looks kind of dope and I uh, definitely would revisit. Knee guards, pretty standard then. Not an awful lot to say here, if I'm totally honest. And then the armor effect. I have Pestilence active 
and of course the inclement weather, the oh so desired inclement weather that's 2 million credits and was very much the pinnacle of your Halo Spartan. And if you had that, it was definitely a flex. Yeah, there's nothing more um, frightening than seeing someone with high voltage uh, lightning bolts coming out of his armour. Now, what I liked about uh, Halo Reach's armour in comparison to Halo 5 is the way you unlocked it. Halo 5 obviously very controversially in introduced the rec system and of rec packs, where it is a random unlockable system whereby you open rec packs using points that you've got in-game and you got a random maybe a maybe a piece of armor set maybe it was a, a weapon for warzone maybe it was a, a visor color maybe an assassination style um there was loads of stuff you could have got skins included whereas uh with halo reach the way you unlock them is you had the uh the credit system whereby you either could get credits by playing games uh, just multiplayer games or completing challenges uh, four of which changed every day and then you obviously have that weekly one at the bottom now personally compare this to the halo 5 system i think this is a very very a much more flushed out way of uh, playing the game i mean i don't know i haven't looked but i imagine that my playtime on halo reach is a lot higher than halo 5 purely because it was just I guess it was just a more fun game and it just had that element of yes I want to get inclement weather like that really is the pinnacle and some of the arm armor sets are just purely beautiful um I mean, this Mjolnir Mark 6 is 300,000 and it really is just a just a, a very very nice helmet and almost reminisces of uh, the Halo Infinite one they showed us in the trailer the Gungnir not my personal favorite but I know a few people that like it okay so I'm here on Halo 5 and about to compare and contrast the armor customization options as you can see on the screen now and the first thing of course as you notice when you enter the ui is that it only has the helmet the chest and the visor as three distinct categories you don't have any of the shoulder plates you don't have an individual chest piece you don't have the tactical bit you don't have the wrist it's like a poorly arranged file on your computer you've got three separate options but then within each one you've got hundreds no 200s of different options and as you can see on the screen now the sheer variety of chess pieces is really quite something however with this variety i feel like there is a massive downside for it and a lot of the good pieces become diluted amongst the shit that you have to shovel through and i'm not going to stand here and say my armor customization is the best because it's not i actually know it's not not even i don't think it's even the best in my opinion the problem with it is because I don't have the time nor the effort to look through every single armor chest piece in order to find one that I really, really like and is clearly the best. So I just pick one that is, you know, acceptable, it's average, it's, it will do the job and it's not, doesn't look dreadful. As, a come, as opposed to the helmets, as you can see here, it's almost the same issue. You've got so many different helmets. Some of them look decent, some of them look great and some look really really poor in my opinion and i think that's the problem with halo 5's armor customization it has a lot more helmets it has a lot more chest pieces than halo reach it has a lot more visors in fact in fact it has about 12 times more visors than halo reaches unfortunately because of this it's the good things have been diluted out and you're left with a just a colossal mess of items and and it all comes from, as previously mentioned, the rec pack system. And you don't even get to choose which armor ones you get. You just get them randomly. And you have to try and collect the whole set and just hope and pray that you get a good one when you open a 10,000, no, a, yeah, 10,000 RP point pack. And you just got to hope that it's something good and not a sniper rifle uh, for Warzone, not a, 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 a vehicle, not a a visor or an assassination or a weapon skin. You know what I mean? You have to sort through the sheet before you get to the nice pieces. You've got to literally sell the, the pink sheets before you get to the blue chip. And ultimately, this, in my opinion, is my biggest complaint. I don't feel like there's enough good pieces and there are an awful lot of bang average pieces and a lot of bad pieces as well. Going forward, I think 343, the people that are working on Halo Infinite, 
could take something from this. I think that they look at the way that Halo 5 did it compared to Halo Reach and look and say, yeah, we got a lot, but is it really any good? And my answer to that is no. Every Halo Reach armor customization piece has its own identity that unfortunately in Halo 5 is lost. Nothing you can do about that though, sadly. Now, how are they going to do on MCC? I don't know. They're putting Halo Reach in, but it is clear to see that the Halo 4 customization options for armor pieces is a lot less than it was in the original game. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Halo Reach system was less as well. But anyway, guys, that has been all for me. It's been a fairly lengthy vid video, my first one back in quite some time. Give me some feedback in the comment section below. It's been a while, I'm a bit rusty. But um, I hope to come back and do a few more because, you know, I feel like I'm ready to make videos again. Anyway, as I said, that's all from me. Please um, like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you are new around here. And that'll be all from me. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.